I'm Bill Monroe. Prescott Fire Chief Dan Fryho made it clear he isn't resigning on November 15th. City Manager Craig McConnell indicated it's a mutual agreement that the chief stepped down, but Fryho disagreed. He stated he was being ousted after he met with McConnell over communication issues. City officials later announced Division Chief Eric Crewer has been named acting chief effective immediately. The Prescott City Council voted to hold off on a study of public safety services, firefighters, family members of the fallen Granite Mountain hotshots, and others at the council meeting voiced concerns over the $88,000 study and why the International City and County Management Association was the only company considered for it. Speakers also expressed support for Chief Dan Fryho. Yarnell Fire Chief Jim Coyle announced his resignation. About a dozen residents clapped and cheered as Coyle's resignation letter was read during a special fire district board meeting. A story had come out about Coyle's manslaughter conviction in 1974. Coyle will stay on in an advisory capacity until November 30th. Assistant Chief Ben Palm is taking over the chief's duties temporarily. 71-year-old Edward Shad was executed at the Arizona State Prison in Florence. Shad had murdered 74-year-old Bisbee resident Lorimar Grove in 1978. He dumped the body off Highway 89 near Prescott. The victims of an October 4th plane crash in Paulden were identified. The six-passenger aircraft took off from Bullhead City and crashed on the Gunside Academy property. The victims are 57-year-old James Parrish and his 54-year-old wife Lisa, both from Terrell, Texas, and 65-year-old Mike Hughes and his 63-year-old wife Joy. The Hughes have homes in Aurora, Colorado, and Paulden. Mike Hughes was a range master who had taught at the Academy since 1991, and the Parrishes had just completed their 16th class there. A plane crash at the Sedona airport resulted in serious injuries to Florian Riedel and Jordan Bochter. The pilot, Mortiz Conrad, received minor injuries. The plane went 200 feet down the end of a runway. The three were German tourists who had rented the four-seater plane in Phoenix. A Yarnell Town Hall meeting hosted by Yavapai County Supervisor Rolly Simmons had attendance from State Representative Karen Fan and Senator Steve Pierce. Topics discussed during the meeting included cleanup and road repairs, flood control, and home reconstruction. And the Prescott Valley Town Council rejected two bids for the Civic Center expansion and Banshell project. The bids came in higher than expected, so the project will be rebid with a reduced scope. Redesign is expected to take two to three months to complete, with construction to follow next year. I'm Bill Monroe, and that's your KQ&A News Week in Review.